Yeah, she's over. Hi, Queen. Hi. Hello. I just got out of the shower. We're gonna make some nut rolls. Queen's getting ready to make the. And once we mix this up, it's gonna take four hours to settle, and then we'll be back. Stay tuned. All right, Queen's mixing this stuff right now. Take a look. All right, tell us about okay. it. Okay. What do we have to do? You put all the ingredients in a pot and mix uh -huh. it until it comes off your hand. You got ways to go. Look at it. I it's like caked on there. Right. And if it's still wet, you add a little bit more flour. Okay. All right. And that's all you do. We're going to keep takes... working on it, and right. uh, we'll be back. This is my grandmother Dulhush's recipe. And my grandmother Babic, when she made nut rolls, it was a different kind of dough, and there was a lot of dough in between the nuts, and it wasn't as moist. I don't think it was, it was as like good. a thicker. It was a very thick nut roll, and my dad actually didn't like his mother's. He liked my mother's. I mean, my mom's. yeah, my mom's better. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. So I realized that we didn't actually tell you what we're mixing up. This is the dough. So here's. I'll just include a screenshot later, but. That's what, that's what she's mixing up right now. Cups of flour, butter, Crisco, cake yeast, egg yolk, sugar, salt, and evaporated milk. Now, do you see how it's coming off my hand? Oh, yeah. See how it's coming off my hand? That's how, you know, it's, it's getting there. Making progress. Right. I still have a little bit of... Just done with the dough. And you see it's coming off my hands. But... My mother's recipe for the filling is, um, how do I want to say, when, when my mother showed me how to do it, she just kind of eyeballed it. And she said, here, put a little of this and a little of that. I says, well, you know, you have to tell me measurements because I don't know. So right. she finally gave me measurements or estimates, her guesstimates, and that's how I do my nut rolls. Okay. What you stick with ever since, Right, huh? and it works. So we're ready to... Form the balls, right? Right. We're ready to form the balls for the nut All rolls. Right. It's time to get messy. It's not really messy. I'll just show you. I just want you to do the sure. first one and then we'll... Uh... Okay, here this is what you do. You take a little bit like this uh -huh. and you make it about the grapefruit size. Yeah, maybe a little bigger, depending on how big you want. So what do you do this? All right. That's going to be a smaller nut roll, but sometimes small, sometimes big. Okay, okay. here we go. All right, we're back. Queen started doing something, and I said, wait a minute. What are you doing? Okay, this you doing? is, I'm beating the egg whites. Okay. And the reason being is you add a little bit of the egg whites to the, um, uh, uh, the nut roll mix. That's to keep it together. Then you also uh, brush the egg whites onto the nut rolls, and that makes them shiny. Ah, so this is going into the actual nut filling. Correct. And you also use it to And then we're going to brush it on top. And you're going to brush it onto the, yes. Gotcha. I'm beating it. Alright, started doing something so I want to make sure we got it. So there you have it. We'll be back. Alright, and we're back. It's uh, Tanat's Queen's doing stuff and we're missing it. Here we go. So you put in a stick of butter. I put a stick of butter, two cups of uh, sugar, and three quarters cup of milk. And okay. I'm going to bring this to a boil and I have to put a little bit of uh, vanilla in also. I'm going to bring this to a boil, and then I'm going to add the nuts. Okay. Okay, so... All right, and you want me to grease up these pans over here right, with uh, Crisco, right? Right. All right. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to add the nuts. It boiled. Get in there. What about this egg stuff? Egg, That's later. That's egg later. That's later. Let me mix right, I'm just getting it ourselves. To the mixture. The butter and the sugar and the milk. So then you add more nuts um, to make it thicker. Right, right. How thick you want it? Well, let's see up the steel now. 
Okay. Let's get in there, add more nuts. Mm. Okay. Now I'm finished with the nuts and it's pretty thick. And you want it thick because it's better when you spread it out and then it's the, the nut rolls are just loaded with nuts. Okay, a bit of egg whites to keep it together. Okay, well, maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's good. And you just mix that in a little bit. Ew. Yes, and that's just to keep it together. It smells good. It does smell good. Alright, turn the heat off. Alright, so now we're getting the the okay. dough that we made earlier. You what? Can get over there? Maybe you can see better? Sure. Alright, I'm gonna move over here. Okay, right. now this is what you do. You take a little bit of sugar, roll it out on the on the pastry sheet, take a little bit of flour, and you're doing this so it doesn't stick. Here's the dough. Yeah. Flattening out a little bit, moving it around so it doesn't stick again. Just giving it uh, an outer coating, right? So whenever you right. roll it out, it doesn't yes, stick at right. all. Right, so it doesn't stick and it doesn't stick to your roll like that. All right, here we go. Let's roll these things out. I just flip it over sometimes. I think it's kind of a weird shape. It's got to be like an oval or yes, oblong. Yes, it, well, it has to be round, I guess. Sometimes it gets kind of... Where it's shaped, you're just gonna roll it out a little bit from the middle and you work your way out. All right. And it's a thin layer of nuts. The whole way out to the edge. Cool, so you're saying that um, we have to make another batch of these, these nuts because. We made 15 balls of dough, and probably won't have enough nuts. So we have to do a second batch of second nuts. Second batch, we're prepared. Don't worry, look at all these. Gotta grind these suckers up. Yeah. We'll be in light flint. Yep. Okay, now after you're done putting the nuts on, you, uh -huh. start, you start rolling from the back to the front. All right. Slowly. See how it gets. What, what happens if you do it quickly? Well, it won't be tight enough, and it'll be too loose, and you're not really be Kind of Saggy. Yeah, there you go. That's a good word. Yes. All right, so here is the very first nut roll of the day. All right, cool. All right, so we just rolled it, and now we're going to transfer. Yeah, you take it like this. Whoa. Very fast. Take it like this. Yeah. And you stick it right in the middle of the pan. I sorry. first, yeah, because I have the three fit on, on a pan. Okay. So then you take your... This is the egg whites again, this is right? The egg whites, yes. Okay. And what you do is you just brush it off so that it makes them shiny. All right. Does so whenever they split, is that a, an egg white thing or? Uh, I don't know. I don't know why they split. There's never there was never really a reason <laughs> hey, why they split or why I have no clue. Oh, okay. But they're all good. Is that a good luck thing, maybe? Eh, that's what they say, but who knows? <laughs> who knows about luck? <laughs> That's the number one nut roll of the day. Extremely good nuts. Right. Okay. okay, now Jeremy is going to try. Here we go. So I'm going to roll it into this flour. A little bit of sugar. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to add some more flour. Keep going. That's good. All right. I'm just going to roll this guy in here. Yep, they're doing much? good. Nope, that's fine. Okay. Kind of just, yeah, a little bit there, then put on the roll rolling pin. Out. It doesn't matter the shape. Just nope, go. doesn't matter the shape. Just kind of get it circular. Yep, there you go. Okay, that's looking good. Good job. Okay. Oh gosh. Is it bad to that, do it too thin? That's fine. That looks good. I think it's probably thin enough now. You might want to put on the nuts. Oh gosh. All right. Okay. Now 
uh, start putting on the nuts. Slowly. From the middle, oh geez. Right, start in the middle and kind of work your way out, but carefully so you don't rip the dough. Okay, it's a little thin. All right, that looks good. I'll just go slow. Okay. That looks good. All right, just keep going. There you have it. Not too thick? Not too thick. I guess that's not, not a thing, right? You no. Can do it too okay, right. now he's ready to roll up the nut roll. See how we did? Hopefully it didn't rip Real too slow. Much. That's right. From side into the middle. Right. Okay, well, that looks oh, great. They're already. Joshua said they're there already. Cool. Should I transfer it? Keep going. Let's transfer it now. Oh, very good. Very good. All right. Good show. All right, we're ready to grind some more nuts. Okay. Queen, tell us about it. Well, Jack's going to grind the walnuts, but I want them to be at a consistency when they're they're not ground up so that you can't taste them. You have to have them um, in the consistency where when you're eating the nut, nut rolls. It's a little crunched up, it's right? It's a little crunched. Uh, yes, you don't want crunchy. sand. You don't want, yeah, right. That's exactly right. Okay. All right. So, Dad, how do we go about doing this? You take your seven inch banding scissors and you cut the lid off with a Roman Catholic nut bag. What kind of scissors are these? <laughs> medical scissors? Is that a medical instrument that you're trying to use here? Oh, absolutely. All right. Right out of the Lynch Funeral Home morgue. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, these have, these have been disinfected, want? and my dad hasn't been a funeral director for years, so. <laughs> Guys, this is fine. All right, all right, so you just put so this in dump, a, what, a you cuisine the, You dump your Roman Catholic nut into here. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you give a little razzle-dazzle like this. All right. And you can pulse it until you get the consistency of what mom really likes. How do you, how do you know what that is? All right, so each of these bags is one pound. Right. So, Queen, how many pounds of nuts do you typically well. use for a batch? We're making 15 nut rolls, right? At least three to five pounds. That's what I usually use. Okay. So how many, how many batches of nuts do we make? So that, how many pounds of nuts go into each batch, I guess I should ask? Probably about a one and a half to two pounds per batch. Okay. Per nut batch. All right, look, this looks pretty thick. That looks good. Let me see it again. Well, let's, let's take a look at it. All right, yeah. I'm going to throw Got some it. chunks in there. Uh, you know what? Maybe another pulse. They look a little bit. They look a little bit too thick. It'll. It may rip the. Um, uh, the dough. The dough. Here we go. I got to add a little tidbit here. We didn't always used to have this newfangled. What is this? A cuisine art grinder thing. When we were kids, we had this stool. And Queen had a, it was like a clamp, or what was it? It was a cast it was a, iron. It was a food grinder. It was cast iron. Yeah. And, and so we would sit onto this yeah. stool, and it would be Josh and my job to, to grind up the, the walnuts. And it was not, you can do a pound at a time. It was like a scoop at a time. And so it took a long time, but that was our, our job. Yeah. But eventually the, the thing broke. So... <laughs> Look at him go. All right, guys, shout out to a previous uh, Cooking with John episode. This, uh, this one was the Oreo uh, cake that I made. And I think you guys probably remember me trying to spread the, um, what was it, the icing? Yes. Yeah, so saying that it's getting cool and it's harder to, harder to spread. So it wasn't just a me thing. <laughs> This is, this is a very real issue, right? So, right. ready to make another batch? I'm just about ready. That's how much we got left. Just a little bit, and I'm gonna put this on this nut roll and we'll make another batch. All right. If you make your dough the same day and let it proof, well, how long is it proof? Four hours. For four hours, and then make your nut rolls. Does it make it any, any better or worse? If you do it the night before? Right. No. Just as long as you hit that four hour right. minimum, right? Right, just as right? long as the, the uh, yeast, uh, as long as you let it rise. The dough, I mean. There you have it.
All right, let's get ready to paint. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. All right, now it's time to stick them in the oven. Here we go. Queen, what's the uh, what's your technique? How how? Uh... They go in the oven for thirty minutes. Okay. How hot? Okay, three hundred fifty degrees. Okay. Okay. I put them in for fifteen minutes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let me get this. And then after fifteen minutes, I switch. Do the little switcheroo. Right. All right. So they get baked evenly. That's my technique. Cool. Okay. So now we got fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes, three fifty. See you in fifteen minutes. All right, now it's time to stick them in the oven. Here we go. Queen, what's the uh, what's your technique? How how? Uh... They go in the oven for thirty minutes. Okay. How hot? Okay, three hundred fifty degrees. Okay. Okay. All right, just spin it around. Up oh, there's the first batch, which I forgot to forgot to record. Mm -hmm. um, I'll show you those later. Okay. Fifteen more minutes. Fifteen more. Minutes. Don't they look good? Yeah, they smell good. I'll tell you that. It smells. You should have smell a vision. They smell delicious. <laughs> We're working on it. Um, what? Why are you Instagram. Oh, that's a text message. Yikes. Hello. All right, all right. We got a we got a viewer question here. Um, I'll turn it over to mom, Queen. Mrs. Mosco says, I love watching your mom making nut rolls and I would like to try her recipe. Couple of questions, can I just half the recipe to make fewer rolls? 14 rolls seems overwhelming. Also, I love the recipe card. Who typed that on a manual <laughs> typewriter? And your dad is awesome in the background as chief nut grinder. All right, so. Okay, the answer to the question, I don't, I don't know. I never made a half a recipe. Yeah. Um, I, would, I don't know why you couldn't try it. Yeah? You know, go for it. The other thing is, I have a typewriter at work, and I still use it, and I type the recipe on it because I've yeah. given up to other uh, family and friends that want the recipe. Yeah, all right. Not bad. All right, so Chief Nut Grinder, do you have anything to weigh in? No, I just use a Cuisinart nut grinder instead of that old handle. The manual cast, one. Cast iron manual thing. This is much easier and it faster, huh? doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you have it, Mrs. Mosco. You could probably half the recipe, but that's nothing that Queen's tried before. So good luck. All right, moment of truth. Queen, are you ready for this? Okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait, I want to look at this. Oh, where's my... What are we looking for? What, what's going on? Okay. Okay, I'm going to check this out. <laughs> All right. Okay, 15 minutes is up. Yep. I'm going to check to see what they look like. We did the switcheroo, now we're ready. Yeah. All right. Now they look a little bit light. I'm gonna put them in for five more minutes. They look a little bit light to me. Okay. Too light. Five more minutes. All right. Okay, five more minutes. See in five. All right. So they just beeped again. Okay, Let's five minutes is up. See how they this. look. They look much better. All right. A nice brown, and brown. brown. Oh, they look divine. Oh. Mighty fine to me. Oh, these even look better. How can you tell? They have a little bit more color to them. But I think right. they're both okay. I had them in the long at the same time. Yeah, see how they crack there? Here's... Alright, can you guess which ones are mine and which ones are queen from earlier? This is the, the, the cracking that I was talking about. Paul says it's good luck. Queen says the jury's out. Convinced. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. They look divine. The smell smells good in here. Yeah, there, there's the Queen's nut roll recipe for you. Smells so, like Christmas. There you go. Dad also says it's essential to have what? What do we need? What? What's the essential thing that you need whenever you're making nut rolls and grinding nuts? You have to have music from Christmas time music going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. So that's it. Secret ingredient, Christmas music, and thanks for watching. All right, if you didn't know I was an amateur before, you know it now. So we have one last step. Take it away. Okay, when the nut rolls are finished and you take them out of the oven, let them cool a little bit before you take them off the tray because they'll crack. Like crack in half, you mean? Like crack, and yes, like crack in half. So you want to let them cool a little bit and then take your spatula uh -huh. and loosen them a little bit 
and then take them off. All right, let's see how you do that. Okay. So what you Are do these is ones you ready? Take your little patch, yeah, you take your spatula okay. and you do this. You see, now this one's coming off easy, uh, but sometimes they stick. So all you do is do your little spatula, take them off, and put them on the voila. All right. So how okay. long do you let them cool for? Fifteen. Guesstimate. Yeah, kind of, kind of touch them a little bit. Okay. And you'll be so if to they're like cool to the touch, you yes, know you're good. Yes. Yeah, they can be warm to the touch too. Okay. Yeah. Cool to the touch. They're ready to move. Right. All right. Thanks okay. for watching. Bye. Bye everybody. Spatula. Bye. Spatula City. We are five four nine. We don't endorse spatulas. No free uh, ads. All right. See you guys. Guys, we forgot to tell you how to cut these things. Right. Queen, take it away. Okay. I, there's a well, technique, right? Yes, there's a technique. You use a serrated knife. Okay. And you cut it on an angle. All right. Now the line, that's how my mother you don't know why? All right, um, so I'm going to cut it on an angle. And okay. you know what? The end is the best. Because oh, you have all that, that good stuff in there. See how nice? All right. Yeah, and on check the end, that it's out. all those little crunchy things. All right, go for that's it. That's my favorite. Come on. Okay. Big test. The vine. Yeah. Mm, very good. Very All right, good. we did it. That's how you do it. My dad is notorious for cutting great, and it drives everyone bananas. So, uh, give me one of these. Okay, you try to. All right. But not my end. Give me, yeah, I'll take the, the first row in. All right, mm. see how it comes to like a little bit of a point there? See, it's on an angle. Got it down. Mm, Not bad. Delicious. Not bad at all. Wow. All right. Merry That's Christmas. It. Merry Christmas. See you guys later.